On February the 20th, 1962, John Glenn began a journey that would make him one of America's greatest heroes. Back then, there was only room for one in the spacecraft. And mission control was in a cramped room. It was all so new, and astronauts were doing things for the very first time. Friendship 7 set off, taking the US Marine pilot around the Earth. He was not the first man in space, or even the first American. Roger, backup clock is started. But John Glenn's orbit was the moment that the Americans finally caught up with the Soviets in the space race. Roger, zero G, and I feel fine. Capsule is turning around. Oh, that view is tremendous. His performance in fulfillment of this most dangerous assignment reflects the highest credit upon himself and the United States. Colonel, we appreciate what you've done. And for that, President Kennedy and the nation were duly grateful. John Glenn was the embodiment of America's newfound supremacy, and it was only now it had found expression. In 1974, John Glenn was elected to the Senate and ten years later he tried to become the Democratic candidate for president, but failed. And lift off of Discovery with a crew of six astronaut heroes and one American legend. In 1998 he was still blazing a trail. Age 77 he became the oldest person to go into space. I guess I'm still a little round-faced here today and that comes from the uh, fluid body shift that occurs and and uh, that's something, as I understand, that goes away over a couple of days there and you, uh, you get back to normal again. Just a handful of minutes remain. Until He'll be remembered, though, for his courage and bravery in the early years of America's space program. A man, they said, that had the right stuff.